All right, everyone, it's 6.30. The July 19, 2021 meeting of the Cinnamon Township Committee is now called to order. Everyone, please rise and join me in saluting the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. This meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, Public Law 1975, Chapter 231. Notice of this meeting was published in the Burlington County Times and the Carrier Post on January 8, 2021. Roll call, please, Madam Secretary. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Fonda? Here. Mr. Horner? Here. Mr. McGill? Here. Deputy Mayor Crandall? Present. Mayor Seagull? Here. Thank you. Thank you. First order of business, uh, we're, we're going to recognize Matthew Blair. Matthew is the valedictorian for this past year's uh, graduating class from Cinnamon High School. Uh, before I go through this, I want to recognize Superintendent Stephen Capella and high school principal Ryan Gorman. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why people move to this town, but a large one is, is our school district. So I want to thank you guys to, for, whatever, for all that you do for the town. You can, you can have, you can have. Matt, I'm going to read the proclamation and then you, then you can come on up. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. You, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Whereas Cinnamon Township Committee strives to recognize those individuals who have exceptionally successful, have been success, exceptionally successful in the pursuits of education and athletics, are able to balance these achievements, and whereas Matt Blair is a Cinnamon resident, graduate of Cinnamon High School, and valedictorian of the graduating class of 2021, and has been a varsity player on the Cinnamon High School soccer team since sophomore year, elected captain of the freshman team, as well as a four-year member of the Cinnamon High School baseball team. Whereas Matt maintained an overall GPA of 105.1, taking 21 honors and AP courses during his time at Cinnamon High School. In February of this year, he was awarded the New Jersey State seal of biliteracy in Spanish. He is a three-year recipient of the Burlington County Principal and Supervisor Association Award, which recognizes the top, top student in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade at each Burlington County High School, scoring a 1510 on the SAT and a 35 on the ACT. And Whereas Matt's interests are varied and equally impressive as his academic and athletic accomplishments, he has participated in the Global Economic Forum, Consumer Bowl, the International Student Summit, World Affairs Council, Model Student Senate, Adventure Fitness Club, Spanish Club, and Physics Olympics. He was inducted into the National Honor Society as a junior. He has been the president of the class of 2021 all four years at Cinnamon High School. Whereas the Cinnamon Township Committee wishes to recognize the accomplishments, accomplishments of this fine student, as well as his family, teachers, and administrators, who had a part in providing the motivation, atmosphere, learning tools, and skills necessary for scholastic excellence. Whereas Matt was honored at his high school graduation ceremony, but because the achievement is so significant and worthy of commendation, commendation, the Cinnamon and Township Committee wishes to recognize him as well as for all his accomplishments. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Cinnamon Township Committee of the Township of Cinnamon, County of Burlington, State of New Jersey, recognizes and commends Matt Blair for his impressive accomplishments and for earning the coveted title of valedictorian 
of Cinnamonton High School's class of 2021. Be it furthermore resolved, the Township Committee, along with the community of Cinnamonton, wish Matt best wishes while continuing his education at Bucknell University for a successful future. Thank you. We're now going to move on to committee liaison reports. We're going to start with committee member Conda for administration and health and senior services. Mr. Conda. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, one of the things I had hoped to accomplish as a member of committee was to help push the township's online presence forward to improve usability and transparency. To that end, over the past few years, the website has been redesigned, making it easier to find information as well as incorporating meeting and budget information, links to upcoming ordinances and e-code, and the integration of the Gov, app, uh, Gov, uh, Gov Alert app, which can be accessed through mobile device to report concerns to Township. Tonight I have some exciting news. Um, as of this past weekend, a video player has been incorporated into the Township website. We're now able to post video of recorded meetings, as well as Township events and events from the Mayor, or uh, announcements from the Mayor and others as necessary right on the cinemansofnewjersey.org site. The video player is located next to the township calendar toward the middle of the page. The content is linked directly from the newly created Cinemans and Township YouTube channel, and our plan for the future is to link this content into our social media presence as well. We have mentioned through the past several years that this committee and administration are committed to transparency, and I believe this is, this is a significant move in that direction. We'll continue to make, we will continue to make improvements to this platform as we go forward. But for now, I encourage everyone to take a look at what has been placed on the website and to subscribe to the Cinnamonson Township YouTube channel. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Conda. That is a long time coming. Yes, sir, it was. Uh, Committee Member Horner, Finance and Economic Development. Mr. Horner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'll be very brief this evening. We have a couple items uh, for consideration on tonight's agenda that specifically impact uh, economic development. Uh, those items will come with their own uh, detailed explanation and I will let those items stand as my report for this evening. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you Mr. Horner. Committee Member McGill for Public Safety. Mr. McGill. Thank you Mr. Mayor. Uh, June activity report for the Simmons Township Police Department is as follows. Total incidents responded to was 2,088 uh, total arrests made were 34, 
Total property checks made, 569. Total motor vehicle stops, three, uh, 293. Uh, total motor vehicle summonses issued, 245. Total DWI arrests were seven. The Cinnamon Township Police would like to congratulate Officer Lewis Hart, Jr. and Officer Salvatore Barbuto on completing the basic course for police officers on July 15, 2021. Both officers successfully completed 21 weeks of basic training, recruit training held at the Mercer County Police Academy and will now start the field training officer program. The Citizens Police would also like to remind everyone that our upcoming American Red Cross Blood Drive will be, is being held at the Citizens Township Community Center on Friday, August 6th from 1 to 6 p.m. Please check our official Citizens Township Police Facebook page for details. And that concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. McGill. Deputy Mayor Cravel, Parks, Recreation, and Veterans Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, in regards to Parks and Recreation, the summer tennis lessons started last week, and the turnout has been great. We've had over 115 registrations spread out over three various sessions. Um, the tennis lessons will continue to run on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to noon at Wood Park through August 12th. The summer concert series is underway and will run every Thursday night until August 29th. Performing at this week's concert will be Asbury Fever, which is a Bruce Springsteen tribute band. Just a reminder that all concerts are Thursdays at 7 p.m. at Wood Park. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This concludes my report. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Crable. I am up with Public Works. Uh, the first item, Burlington County Recycling is officially back to normal. Collect on the the regular collection schedule. Uh, residents are encouraged to use the Recycling Coach app available on Apple and Android devices. I downloaded it and started using it. It's actually uh, pretty useful. If you don't know your schedule, or you have questions about your schedule, whether for recycling or for trash, you can see it on the app. Um, if there are any issues, if you don't get picked up for either recycling or for trash, you can use the app to report uh, the missed pickup and it'll go directly to the provider. So uh, it'll go to the county for recycling and it'll go to Republic for trash. Another reminder from the Department of Public Works, uh, residents to maintain at least a 10 foot buffer between their brush pile and any nearby stormwater catch basin. With the recent rain, I don't know if anybody in here has noticed, but uh, I know on my street, I saw a couple brush piles floating down the street during the storm, and they end up in one of the, one of the basins, which clogs it up and, and makes it difficult for the, the rain to wash down. That concludes my report. Thank you. We're now going to move on to ordinance introduction. We have one ordinance to introduce tonight, Ordinance 2021-10, amending Part 2, General Legislation, Chapter 525, entitled Zoning to amend, supplement, and establish a new section 525-112 entitled any use not expressly permitted is prohibited. This is to be advertised in the Burlington County Times and the public hearing for this ordinance is scheduled for August 16th, 2021. Having that said, may I have a motion to introduce ordinance 2021-10. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I will make a motion to introduce Ordinance 2021-10. Thank you, Mr. Conda. I will second uh, that motion. A roll call vote, please, Madam Secretary. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Conda? Aye. Mr. Horner? Aye. Mr. McGill? Aye. Deputy Mayor Pedro? Aye. Mayor Seabrook? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We are now going to move on to uh, Ordinance for Public Hearing. And I don't know, we're going to do, we'll just go through it and then if there's any explanation, okay. Yeah, exactly. All right, you got it. Sure. So we're going to start with Ordinance 2021-7. And before we do that, I just want to give some background. You know, cannabis has been discussed for a long time at the state level. And a couple of years ago, uh, it was being talked about being approved. And as a township, uh, we, we saw the writing on the wall and we developed a subcommittee. The subcommittee was based of two members from this committee uh, some of our professionals, Eric Schubiger, I know the chief was also involved, and then members of the public. And it was created just to get a consensus of how the community felt 
about cannabis. In this past voting cycle in November, two-thirds of the town, of the population in town that voted, voted to legalize cannabis in New Jersey. So that gave us a good feel of how the overall town was voting and, and how they felt about at least approving cannabis. Um, since this state legislation is coming down, we, we know it's coming, we, we have three choices. We can just prohibit the use totally and not allow it at all. Uh, we can take no action. And if we did that, uh, this would default the township to the state statute. So whatever the state decides to do, it would dictate what happens in Cinnaminson. Or we could take action, permit the use, but have the township dictate where the businesses can be in town and what types are permitted. Cultivation, manufacturing, <laughs> retail, but retail only adjunct to, to the manufacturing facility. So the, uh, they couldn't set up shop on Route 130 and, and sell retail. The state is gonna be approving 37 licenses with this, uh, the initially, what they're initially granting. Now I'm gonna read through the ordinance and then we'll go through the public hearing. But I wanted to give you some of that background. And, and just for clarification, Mayor, the 37 licenses are for cultivation. So okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you for the clarification. I appreciate that. Ordinance 2021-7, an ordinance of the Township of Cinnaminson, County of Burlington, State of New Jersey, amending Chapter 525 of the Township Code entitled Zoning to include Section 525-81D, conditional uses, and to include Section 525-145, cannabis establishments. May I have a motion to open the public comment on ordinance 2021-7. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to open public comment on ordinance 2021-7. Thank you, Committeeman Corner. May I have a second, please? I'll second the motion. Thank you. Voice vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nays, abstentions, ayes have it. Public comment on ordinance 2021-7 is now open. Uh, if you'd like to comment, I'd ask you to come up to the podium and please state your name and address for the record. Mr. Mayor and committee members, my name is John Bancroft. I reside at 114 Natalie Way in Delran. Um, I am I'm a wounded Marine Corps veteran, and um, as such, I've, I'm familiar with cannabis and its medical properties, as well as in, in, in my past, before retiring, I owned and operated a pharmaceutical company in manufacturing company in California. So I have a pretty well-versed background in you know, in, in pharmaceuticals and how they function and how you need to, f to operate within the guidelines of the Food and Drug Administration. I think that you should all be commended for taking this up as, a, as an opportunity for the residents of the community s uh, attached to and surrounding Cinnaminson. I think it's a worthwhile um, endeavor, uh, not only because of what it will bring to the community members, but also in terms of creating a revenue base and and possibly new uh, entrepreneurial um, uh, opportunities for residents of the community. I know that there is, as far as the state goes, there is a broad um, section looking at, uh, looking at vertically integrated cannabis licensing, and that's where that 37 um, license number comes from. But as well, as you may or may not know, there's also a provision for micro licensing as well under the same six categories, cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, et cetera. Um, that is a smaller operation. I think, it prob I think that it will allow uh, members of the community to, uh, to get involved in, you know, in an entrepreneurial um, uh, function and you know, be able to grow internally from that standpoint. So my, you know, my comments and wishes are that this get voted on positively and that we can move forward in the community as rapidly as possible. Thank you, Mr. Bancroft. You're welcome. Thank you.
Mr. Goins. I'll take off the desk. Mike Goins, 100 Purnell Avenue, Cinnamonson. So I sent you an email uh, and copy the clerk. Uh, so I'm going to go through that email uh, first. Um, so my, and you said about two thirds of people voted for it. Uh, and not that I'm a for it or against it one way or the other. I voted for it, but that's not why I'm here. Was there any, t why wasn't some type of survey done to the residents to see if they physically wanted it in our township? Was that ever considered? That's one question. Mm -hmm. um, two, uh, you know, other towns voted to not have it. Did we consider that? And if so, why not? And then what was the de real decision points, three, that led us to say, yes, we want to legalize this for sentiments. And so they're, they're my first three questions. Do you want me to go through them all? Yes? yes? That'd be great. Okay. So under a Section 31A of the Act, it authorizes the township to limit how many. I did not see in our ordinance any limits whatsoever. So, you know, are we going to allow one, ten, five? You know, it doesn't state in the ordinance. Um, under page 5, C1-1 through 6, uh, my comment is about zoning and how everything's written about 200 feet from schools and 1,000 feet from this. I think there should be something in this ordinance that says those conditions cannot be waived by zoning, you know, whatsoever, that the whole ordinance has to be changed as opposed to letting it go to zoning and say, well, we'll waive this for this person. Or, because I've seen that in many meetings that I've attended, that zoning has waived certain requirements, like fence requirements or whatever. I don't think they would do that, but I think something should be a new ordinance. Uh, on Can I just stop you for one second? Sure. So when you're referring to the Zoning Board of Adjustments making um, an alteration to some of the conditions, you're referring to like seeking a variance. Right, correct. Okay. Right. On page 6E3, um, nothing against the chief, but the way it's worded is that uh, they can go and ask for video right away without a search warrant. And to me, given a First Amendment right, you know, without a warrant and different things like that, I don't think it should be in the ordinance. That's my opinion. Because the way it's written right now, it says they, uh, police can demand a copy of the video, not without a warrant or anything like that. So I think there should be something that says with a warrant. Um, the last thing I have, no, I have two more things. Uh, the one other thing was about the Safe Bank and Claims Act. Right now, it's because federal government has not pr approved it. Many of these establishments cannot get banking, so it's cash, or they can't even get assurance if somebody gets hurt on a property. I think that should be addressed in our ordinance. The last thing I had was the thing I added to it after I got the layout of where it's going to be. And I'm hoping the ordinance introduction that you made tonight uh, is going to address that that says, you know, it can only be in this area because one of the recommendations from the study was that we should prohibit all cannabis license classification in all these zones, and that was not addressed in the ordinance whatsoever. Because my qu uh, comment was to you, you know, are we going to have 10 stores on Cinnamon? It's almost like a loophole because the only place it's mentioned is in one section. So, I, you know, the recommendation by that study was that we call out all the zones that it's prohibited. So I don't know, if, again, if that resolution is to address that or not. And I don't know if you could talk about that tonight anyway. So They're I, my questions. Okay. Thank you. Or comments. Thank you, Mr. Goins. Um, I, I'm not going to take all of them, but I, I do want to just speak on the, the warrant for, for the video. I, I mean, I know from working in retail and hospitality, that if anything ever happened on my property, I gladly gave the police the video. 
I don't think a warrant would be necessary in any of those cases. You could talk to any of these police officers. If there's an issue at Wawa or any other store, anything, they'll gladly hand over the video. And I think that would be the same relationship. Any good company um, it would only just be responsible, I believe, to do that. I, and I, I understand your concern. I, I, agree I do with understand the, your the concern. Crime is being has been committed or something, a robbery or something like that, but the way it's worded, it's loosey goosey that, okay, right. I could be wanting to see who's going to these establishments and surveilling people, and that is, shouldn't be what it's used for. And, and I know that. This is going to be developed somewhere in our area. It may not ever, ever be developed in Cinnamons. It may be, be developed in Pensauk and in, in any other town, right? Right. All of those companies, by law, will be able to deliver to Cinnamons. It, so it, it doesn't prevent it from, from happening. Whether, it's, whether they're manufacturing here and producing here. Right. We can't stop. It's like stopping a pizza shop in Delran from delivering right. in, in, I agree. in cinnamons. And so um, those are the things I wanted to take on. I don't really want to yeah, answer I, I any of that. I, I heard uh, various comments. First, the, the question on the survey. I, I think the town's position is the referendum was the survey because 67% of the voters were supportive of, the, of legalizing uh, recreational cannabis in, in cinnamons. And, uh, regarding uh, the, the comment about there's no limitation on the number of establishments, there's not in the ordinance, but as a practical matter, there really is, because there's only going to be 37 cultivation licenses issued in the first two years in the entire state of New Jersey. Right. So it's only 37. Now, the thought that Cinnamon's is going to somehow get two fistfuls of cultivation licenses, that's, that's, I view that as highly unlikely. I, yeah, it's down it, the road, it well, can, and that's why I said I've read other towns that have done their ordinances, and they have set limits on how many of each. Well, so, it, well and another control on it is, and, and this sort of dovetails into your next comment, is, is uh, it only talks about the cannabis overlay zone. Well, the cannabis overlay zone is the only locations within Cinnamons and that can operate a business that business has to be a class one, class two, cultivation, manufacturing, processing site, and then maybe it can have up to 10% of the building space for a uh, dispensary, a retail establishment. So uh, there's, there is a limited area or zone. The fact that other zones don't speak to cannabis doesn't make it permitted, in fact, one of the principles of zoning laws is uh, if a use is not expressly prohibited, it's prohibited. Right. Well, that's why I was asking about the ordinance that was introduced tonight, if that's really trying well, to that, address that Well, it, I, legally, we don't think it is, okay. but, but, but by codifying it, we're, we're, remo we're removing any doubt okay. it, it, or discouraging anyone for, for attempting to make a, right. a, a file a legal case on that issue. Uh, and then uh, the 200-foot the non-waivable requirement in the conditional use ordinance, that the ability to grant variances from that requirement, the municipal land use law strictly won't allow it. When you have a conditional use and the standards, a zoning board always has to have, by, by state law, they ha you can't deny them the authority to grant the variances. Uh, you can't. The only way you can prohibit the use is, is pro actually prohibited, but you can't, you can't make conditions of a conditional use non waivable as a matter of law. Okay, I, okay. and I was talking from one to six, all those requirements that. And, 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 and then finally, your comment regarding videos. With the medical cannabis law that's been supplanted by the new, the new statute, that required video. Those regulations required videotaping of, of those establishments. And while we don't know yet what the new Cannabis uh, Regulatory Commission is going to put in the REC standards, it, the likelihood is, is it's going to have the camera and surveillance and security requirements anyway. Right. And no, I'm not against yeah. that. I'm just yeah. against and, not and, having and, a warrant and, and, if, and, unless it's a and, robbery and or something of, like that. Some of it makes sense because, there, you know, there's also there's an illicit cannabis market. and. Uh, 
the state is trying to regulate it so all cannabis in the state that is sold is legal, it's safe, it's tested, and the, the, the requirements of the videotaping, I think, I think advance that purpose, so. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Norman. Yes. Can, can you speak on the insurance at all? And there was oh, the one safe. The, yeah, there was the, one comment yeah, about insurance. Yeah, insurance. yeah the, safe, the Safe Bank Act, it's a federal law. It's been introduced at, at the federal level, but it hasn't passed. Right. But I, the, I believe the state has, I mean, that just applies on interstate commerce. Interstate, New Jersey is going to include regulations that will be in the, probably released in August, that are going to specify uh, what activities, uh, basically, you'll, they'll be able to do business with state charter banks, and there'll be regulations concerning that. They just haven't come out yet. And that's, that's really outside the purview of this, this committee. It's, it's a matter of state law. As long as, as long as it's, the, as long as uh, you can't do bank with a, with a Pennsylvania bank, but it, you will be able to bank as a cannabis company with a New, a New Jersey bank. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anyone else? And I, this is us just setting up the parameters. This does not mean that tomorrow we're going to have a cannabis cultivation site in Cinnaminson. Um, this is just us setting up the parameters so that if we were ever approached, there, there are rules to it, to them setting up and doing business in Cinnaminson. Mayor, sorry, to, you you wanna, can I just add? Absolutely, yeah. Thoughts? Can't help absolutely. it. So, uh, first of all, thank you for your questions and your comments. Uh, always appreciative by the governing body. Um, helps us with our, our thinking and makes us think. Um, but <clears throat> just if I could take a half a step back on this. Uh, I appreciate uh, Mr. Norman talking some of the, the, the technical specs of the ordinance, but I just want to make sure the community has an understanding of, of the role of the governing body in this, meaning Township Committee, the role of the planning board, and then as Mr. Goins alluded to, at some point the role perhaps of the zoning board. Um, so for the, the governing body, we were tasked with uh, um, when I say we, I mean the professionals were tasked with helping the Township Committee with coming up, developing a vision, sort of a, an umbrella, if you will, of how we think about this whole topic. Uh, and, and as our, our economic development coordinator, a coordinator says on occasion from 30,000 feet, I don't know if it was from 30,000 feet, but you get the point, um, a vision. Uh, and what this Township Committee did I thought was very impressive because um, some of you in this room were here two years ago when this issue started to um, get to the forefront. We, uh, I think it was Deputy Mayor Cravel who had the suggestion of developing a subcommittee uh, to, to get the community involved, all the professionals, and, and I know Mr. Goins mentioned a survey. Uh, in my opinion, we went above a survey. Uh, we, we developed a subcommittee that was uh, representative of the whole community, uh, or at least a big portion of it. And then at some point, again, if we all recall, it kind of subsided a bit. We heard about new legislation coming out, and there wasn't, frankly, I don't I hate to say it this way, but there wasn't much to do for a little bit. So we were sort of there, held in abeyance, and then when the new legislation came out, I can tell you that Mr. Norman's firm um, and Stuart Platt and, and, and his other colleagues, they were right on it. They, they gave us sort of a, a, a summary. What does this all mean now, this new legislation? And that was the... the the, the first step and now what are we going to do so we reconvened with the subcommittee and I see some of you here tonight uh, I was on all those calls and, and they were very meaningful to us and we appreciate all your, your efforts there because it, it it really gave us a snapshot of what at least a good portion of the community was thinking so thank you um, so this at this level here with the ordinance we are providing that vision of the governing body uh, the, the task of the planning board, which I might add has already been accomplished, is once this ordinance was introduced, the planning board then reviews that ordinance, that int introduction of the ordinance, and determines if it's consistent with the township master plan. And that's a really salient point to all this because we are tying it to the master plan. 
We are not tying it to maybe how we feel about cannabis in general or what we think or is it consistent with the master plan. The planning board reviewed it, they came back, and the reason why we're here tonight to be able to have a public hearing is they said yes, in fact it is. No question about it. It's, it's consistent with the master plan. Uh, and, and that's really important. The next level, and Mayor, you did start to um, allude to this before or mention this, is that this is, again, the vision. That does not mean that once, if the governing body chooses to move ahead and adopt this ordinance tonight, that all of a sudden anybody can do what they want. There's still a process, just like any other business, that someone's going to have to come in if they, if they want that type of business in town. They go through, they might work with Economic Development Committee. In fact, they will. They may have to go to planning or zoning, depending on what they need. So there's still the, the normal process for getting something developed in town. And I think sometimes, I'm not saying everybody thinks uh, otherwise, but I think that gets lost a little bit. Um, so let's just keep that in mind. And, and, and with that, again, I, I, I want to thank everybody who participated in that subcommittee. Even those who weren't officially on the subcommittee, but we've had some conversation, phone, uh, otherwise, about this topic, that was really helpful for this, for this township committee to, to come up with this plan. Um, and again, uh, Deputy Mayor Cravel, uh, committee member McGill were at the forefront of this from the outset, and they saw it all the way through. And I, I think we're in a really good position. A, 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 again, as the mayor uh, suggested before, or not suggested, but outlined, we could have just said no. And you know what? I, we all felt that that wasn't enough. We weren't doing, our, our, um, we weren't good stewards if we just said no. Uh, we could have ignored it. And as the mayor said, then all of a sudden, whatever the state wanted or whatever, whatever anybody wanted, we were going to live with it. We took the better road. And from what I can tell, with all due respect to our neighbors in, in the area and throughout the state, we took the road less traveled. We, we did more work. We, we compromised. We came up with a real plan. So. I think what we have here, and I, it's my opinion, but I think we all agree, we're balancing the economic potential, I say potential economic benefits uh, of this new legislation with real thoughtful planning about land use in our town. So we've done that here, and I, that's what our goal was. So I just wanted to add that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Before we move on, I just want to uh, allow anyone else that wanted to come up and comment. Okay, seeing no one come forward. May I have a motion to close the public comment on Ordinance 2021-7. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to close public comment on Ordinance 2021-7. Thank you, Mr. Conda. Uh, may I have a second, please? I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. McGill. Voice vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nays, abstentions? Ayes have it. May I have a motion to approve Ordinance 2021-7? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to uh, adopt Ordinance 2021-7. Thank you, Mr. McGill. May I have a second, please? Mr. Mayor, I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Horner. Madam Secretary, roll call vote, please. Aye. Mr. Horner. Aye. Mr. McGill. Aye. Deputy Mayor Aye. Mayor Seabrook. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We're now going to move on to Ordinance 2021-8, an ordinance of the Township of Cinnamonson County of Burlington and State of New Jersey to amend and supplement the Code of the Township of Cinnamonson, Part I, I, Chapter 473, entitled Taxation with new Article I.I. Section 473-5 to collect a statu statutorily authorized 2% municipal transfer tax on cannabis sales by Class I, Class II, and Class V license holders, and 1% municipal transfer tax on cannabis sales by Class III license holders. May I have a motion to open the public comment on Ordinance 2021-8, please? Uh, Mr. Mayor, I will make a motion on 
2021-8. Thank you, Mr. Conda. I will second that. Voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nays abstention. Ayes have it. Public comment on Ordinance 2021-8 is now open. Please come up to the podium if you're going to comment and state your name and address for the record. Not seen anyone come forward. May I have a motion to close the public comment on Ordinance 2021-8? I'll make a motion to close public comment on Ordinance 2021-8. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Crable. Uh, may I have a second, please? I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. McGill. Uh, voice vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nays, abstention, ayes have it. May I have a motion to approve Ordinance 2021-8, please? I'll make a motion to approve um, Ordinance 2021-8. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Crable. May I have a second, please? I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. McGill. <coughs> Roll call vote, please, Madam Secretary. Yes, Mr. Condo. Aye. Mr. Horner. Aye. Mr. McGill. Aye. Deputy Mayor Crable. Aye. Mayor Seagrass. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We're now going to move on to Ordinance 2021-9 to amend Chapter 500, Section 12 of the General Code entitled Sale of Impounded Vehicles. Uh, may I have a motion to open the public comment on Ordinance 2021-9? I'd like to make a motion, Mr. Mayor, to op uh, open up public hearing on Ordinance 2021-9. Thank you, Mr. McGill. I will second that. Voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nays, abstention. Ayes have it. Public comment on Ordinance 2021-9 is now open. Please come up to the podium if you'd like to comment and state your name and address for the record. All right, not seeing anyone come forward. Uh, may I have a motion to close the public comment on Ordinance 2021-9? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to close public comment on Ordinance 2021-9. Thank you, Mr. Horner. May I have a second, please? I'll second the motion. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Crable. Voice vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Abstentions, ayes have it. May I have a motion to approve Ordinance 2021-9? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to approve Ordinance 2021-9. Thank you, Mr. McGill. Uh, may I have a second, please? Mr. Mayor, I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Horner. Uh, roll call vote, please, Madam Secretary. Yes, Mr. Conda. Aye. Mr. Horner. Aye. Mr. McGill. Aye. Mayor Crabo. Aye. Mayor Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We're now going to move on to the consent agenda. Uh, Mr. Schubiger, I know you're going to give some detail on the resolutions that are on the consent agenda tonight. Um, but the first resolution that we have on there is 2021-104, uh, and that is to appoint Logistics Property Company, LLC, as conditional redeveloper for the box part redevelopment in the zoning, in, yeah, in the zoning district, redevelopment zoning district. Uh, we have two representatives from uh, the Logistics Property Company here tonight. I don't want to butcher your names. I'm going to try to do this the best I can. Mark Glagola. Got it. That's and Eric Moser. Uh, these two gentlemen came here to uh, to meet us today. Uh, they're going to invest a lot of money in in our town and help develop that Seabox site. Um, and there, I think there may be some future development down the road. But th these two gentlemen uh, presented the concept to us tonight, and we are very excited to have them. Thank you guys for coming here tonight, um, and thank you for what you're planning on doing down there. Thank you. All right, Mr. Schubiger. You're on. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks for saving me one of the resolutions. I appreciate it. <laughs> I get. I, I love it. Uh, so I'm going to move on with uh, resolution 105, authorizing the renewal of a shared service agreement with Morristown Township for the tax assessor support staff. This is an extension of an existing three-year agreement we have with Morristown. It's a tremendous benefit to the township and for our tax assessor services in town. And CFO Edmondson and our tax assessor, Dennis DeClerc, uh, highly recommend to the governing body that we extend this agreement. Uh, it's a great benefit, again, to the township. Uh, resolution 106, authorizing the release of a performance bond for climate mechanics. Uh, the recommendation for this came from our township engineer, uh, Remington and Vernick, and they've reviewed the project, performed all the inspections, and recommend that we indeed release that performance guarantee. It's in the amount of $11,300. And uh, they also recommend that there's a landscape buffer maintenance guarantee that's posted in the amount of $945. Resolution 107, similar to the previous one, 
This is in regards to uh, Riggin Service Center. Uh, and the, the recommendation comes from our zoning officer, John Marshall. This will be the release of a performance guarantee in the amount of $1,716 and the posting of a two-year maintenance guarantee in the amount of $214.15. Resolution 108 is authorizing the refund of overpaid taxes for Block 2206, Lot 12. Governing body may uh, recall that at a recent Township Committee meeting, the they authorized by resolution the cancellation of taxes for veterans, uh, to, excuse me, a totally disabled veteran benefit for this property. Now this comes, this recommendation comes from our tax collector uh, to in fact refund those overpaid taxes. Resolution 109 is a resolution to opt in to examination exemption for civil service hiring process. Uh, and uh, I know Chief Calabrese is here. He brought this to my attention, something for us to look at. We've reviewed with our township attorney, and essentially this will allow department to department transfers, uh, police department from another municipality to another without requiring the, authoriza excuse me, the authorization of the sending department. Uh, Chief Calabrese and his colleagues, and after review, have determined that this has a great benefit to the township to maintaining the highest level of officers right here in Cinnamonson. And finally, resolution 110, is accepting the 2020 municipal audit uh, for review. Uh, the governing body already knows, but I'm happy to report to the community that uh, we have a, an audit for 2020 from Bowman and Company that is a, a very clean audit with no findings on it. Always happy to report that. Uh, this will allow a full review of the governing body of that audit from the auditor. Mayor, I think that's it. Thank you, Mr. Schubert. Did I miss one? No. Sacred Heart. Oh, Sacred Heart. Did, lest I forget, Mayor, uh, a raffle for Sacred Heart Church on October 7th, 2021, sir. Thank you, Mr. Schubert. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, we are now going to open up public comment on the consent agenda items only. We may have a motion to open the public comment on consent agenda items. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I will make a motion to open public comment on the consent agenda items only. Thank you, Mr. Conda. I will second that. Voice vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nays? Ayes have it. Uh, public comment on the consent agenda is now open. If you come up to the podium, if you'd like to comment, and state your name and address for the record. There he is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ben Young, 116 Woodview Lane. I have just a couple of comments in full support of your, what your resolutions are. Uh, one, I commend you on continuing the, the clerk relationship. That's been a, a great benefit, I'm sure, because it, it makes the, us work with the community and also helps us compare right into Boardstown's, our neighboring town. So it makes good sense for everybody, and I commend you for doing it. And the other thing I want to commend you on is your clean audit. And uh, I think it, it's been... We had, some, we had some problems in years past, and it's nice to see that they've gotten clean and stayed clean. So I commend you on that as well. Thank you. Mr. Young. Thank you. Thank you. All right, not seeing anyone else coming forward. May I have a motion to close public comment, please? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to close public comment on the consent agenda. Agenda. Thank you, Mr. Conda. I will second that voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nays. Abstention. The ayes have it. May I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Crable. May I have a second, please? Mr. Mayor, I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Horner. Uh, Madam Secretary, roll call vote, please. Yes, Mr. Conda? Aye. Aye. Mr. McGill. Aye. Deputy Mayor Craigle. Aye. Mayor Secret. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We're now going to move on to the approval of the minutes. We have uh, two sets of minutes, June 21, 2021, and June 2021 special. June 21, 2021 special. Special meeting. May I have a motion to approve the minutes of June 21, 2021, and the special meeting from June 21, 2021, please. 
Mr. Mayor, I can make, make a motion to approve the minutes for June 21, 2021, and June 21, 2021. <laughs> a lot of 21. <laughs> special meeting. Thank you, Mr. McGill. I'm going to second that. Uh, Madam Secretary, roll call vote again, please. Yes. Mr. Conda. Aye. Mr. Horner. Aye. Mr. McGill. Aye. Deputy Mayor Pagel. Aye. Mayor Stevens. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Not going to move on to uh, paying the bills. Uh, may I have a motion to approve uh, the bill list? Mr. Mayor, I can make a motion to approve the bill list. Thank you, Mr. McGill. I will second that. Again, uh, roll call vote, please, Madam Secretary. Mr. Conner. Aye. Mr. Horner. Aye. Mr. McGill. Aye. Deputy Mayor Crangle. Aye. Mayor Seabrook. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now on to comment. Uh, any staff or professional comments tonight? Mayor, I just have one. I'm sorry, you're going to have to hear from me again. <laughs> uh, I would be remiss, uh, beyond remiss, uh, if, if I did not add to my comments before regarding uh, the recent or the authorized cannabis legislation tonight. I did mention how we had a lot of professionals involved with this, and we did, but Ed Fox is here, our township planner. Uh, Ed, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it escaped me for a second. Um, I was. Mr. Fox, I'm sure, maybe even still, but for a while, I'm sure he did not like me very much because we tasked him with a lot of work. Um, he was thorough, efficient, and on time. Uh, and when I originally talked to him about putting a, a report together for us to review, the timeline was longer, and then I came back and shortened it, which is never good, right? Uh, but you came through <laughs> for us. I appreciate it. Uh, really, uh, can't thank you enough. Thank we wouldn't you, be here without you. you. Uh, and, and of course, Mr. Norman here, who was, was with the subcommittee, helped us understand the brutal legislation language that uh, is, is well beyond me. So thank you for, for working us getting through that, all of that. Uh, without these two gentlemen, we, we, we wouldn't be here tonight. So thanks, guys. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Schubiger. Um, we're now going to open up to public comment. Ooh, sorry. May I have a motion to open up public comment, please? I would like a motion to open up public comment. Thank you, Mr. Conda. May I have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Deputy Mary Crable. Boys vote all in favor. Aye. 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 Nays, substantial. Ayes have it. Public comment is now open. If you'd like to comment on anything, please come up to the podium and state your name and address for the record. Ben Young, 116 Woodview Lane. I have a question about the uh, the dirt hauling coming out of Inman Avenue. Uh, is there a designated route on those trucks? Because I see trucks turning right when everybody else is turning left. Huh. And if they're turning right, are they going down River Road across that bridge, which will not, is not designated to carry that kind of traffic? Was there a designated route at all discussed when, that's, when that deal was may, set up? Yeah, you can take it. I, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Young, yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, I so. uh, we, we had extensive discussions with the DEP. Chief Calabrese was on the calls. Um, quite candid, I have not been over there to watch the, the tr all the trucks leave. Uh, it sounds like that may be something for us to look at, is, is what you're telling I've me. got a bird's eye view to this. I know you do. Uh, <laughs> and they're, not, I'll, and they're I'll making right turns chief, out of this. I'll speak you can see the chief after and, and contact the EP and make sure that they're following that. Well, you can see mud on the road, so I mean, it's pretty okay. obvious. They're making right turns. It was off. very uh, uh, specific uh, about the route. I mean, we went over that for some time. So Isn't that the opposite direction of where they need to go? Yeah, no. it should. They have to go the opposite direction of where they need to go to get there in order to stay on roads that will carry them. Yeah. I know the chief is here. I, don't, I hate putting him on the spot. If he has anything to add now, if not, we'll just get back to you and we'll report back to the committee on that. That's Good. a good point, Ben. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Young. Not seeing anybody else come forward. Uh, may I have a motion to close the public comment section of the meeting? Mr. Mayor, I make a motion to close public comment. Thank you, Mr. Horner. I will second that motion. Uh, voice vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nays, abstention, ayes have it. 
We're now going to move on to committee comment. Uh, committee comment will follow the uh, roll call, which is Mr. Conda, Mr. Horner, Mr. McGill, Deputy Mayor Cravel, and then myself. Um, Mr. Conda, any comments tonight? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to take a second to uh, uh, thank uh, Deputy Mayor Cravel, uh, Committeeman McGill, Mr. Schuberger, Mr. Norman, Mr. Fox, and all of the members of the public who took the time to uh, to go over the whole ordeal of cannabis regulation in the township. Um, it was, I think it was well done and uh, your hard work was appreciated. So thank, thank you. you all. Thank you. Mr. Anything? Yeah, I have a few things. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Mr. Capello, Mr. Gorman, um, I'd like to echo the sentiments of our mayor. I know I've said this before myself publicly. Uh, the sentiments in school district is certainly one of the factors I know myself well when we moved here something we really looked at my wife and I and I think it it definitely is a shining example on um, Burlington County and also the state of New Jersey as evidenced by your recent uh, <coughs> grading that you received a few months ago so I'd like to commend you both uh, for for everything that you do every single day and in particular uh, the last year that we went through with COVID. Yeah. Um, your leadership, especially Mr. Capello, and I know we've had conversations uh, about this, uh, was fantastic. So you're here. I'd like to publicly uh, take this opportunity to thank you both. And Mr. Gorman, I have a student in the high school, so I'd like to thank you. I've got another one. I've got another one coming. So um, I'm just looking uh, forward to the success of, of my children academically, which is a testament to, to your leadership. So thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Young, um, I am equally as impressed with our audit. And you didn't do this, but I will thank the, the person that is uh, very responsible for that, and that is our CFO, Julie Edmondson. So, Julie, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Schubiger, you, you helped a little bit. A little bit. This much. And then, Mr. Conda, Mr. Schubiger, um, the, the enhancements to the website and, and the video player and the update in the last few years to the website and Nixle and all the things that, that we have done to enhance communication with the community sh should also be commended. This township committee prides itself on transparency and communication, and it's those types of enhancements that really get our messaging out uh, to the township the way that we would like to. And uh, Mr. Conda, you in particular, you were uh, a pit bull when it came to <laughs> making sure that the website got done and that we got some type of video player out there and Mr. Segrist yourself included I know that that's something you were very passionate about uh, so everybody should be commended that that worked on that um, in pushing those initiatives forward so so thank you very much for doing that on behalf of the township as well um, and Mr. Mayor that's all I have for tonight you said it all right <laughs> Thanks, sir. Closely, you did a good it's job. usually the case, right? <laughs> <He's still laughs> everyone's thunder here. He doesn't say much, but he says <laughs> um, Deputy Mayor Crable? I just want to <clears throat> personally thank. Oh, we skipped Ernie. I did. Mr. McGill, I'm sorry. Well, you can go after me since I already Go started. ahead. Start, you started. Go ahead. <laughs> I just personally want to thank um, the residents who participated in our cannabis subcommittee. I see several of you here tonight. Um, it's your involvement that gives us perspective on what we want to do and what we should do and how we should be representing this town. So thank you for stepping up two years ago. Um, it's a long process. There's no right or wrong, but all your discussion and participation was welcome. Um, and I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy lives to help us do what we need to do. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Crable. Mr. McGill, I apologize. Thank you. Um, well. They, all, they said it all. Um, I'd like to echo Committee McConda's comments, uh, Mr. Horner's comments uh, about the school system. I have three children who my, my wife 
came through the whole school system. Uh, I started in middle school, but both of us and all three of our children have come through the school system, and it is fantastic, and I commend you both for continuing that. Um, Deputy Mayor Cravel said, you know, the whole thing about the, the cannabis. Uh, I'd like to thank um, Mr. Fox, Mr. Mr. Norman, uh, Mr. Schubiger, Deputy Mayor Cravel, uh, and of course, most importantly, the, the residents who stepped up and uh, gave their opinion. Um, thank you for doing your duty. We appreciate it. And um, it, was, it was an enigma this, uh, two years ago to, to you know, what we're going to do, and, and it kind of got put in the back burner, but it came, came forward and everybody stepped up, and I appreciate that. Thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. McGill. Well, I'm, I'm not going to be redundant. Besides the education, um, I'm going to echo what Mr. Horner said. You know, seven years ago when we were looking for some place to move, my, my wife's in education. She's a fourth grade teacher. And it was imperative for us to, to move a place with good parks, um, good pools, and good education. Um, but education wasn't in that order. Education was actually ahead of the parks and the pools. Um, so thank you, gentlemen, for everything that you do. Uh, thank you, Julia Edmondson, for the, for the beautiful audit and everything you do. And that's, that's it for my comments. Thank you, everyone. All right, we're going to move on to adjourning the meeting. May I have a motion to adjourn the meeting, please? Yes, Mr. Mayor, I'll give a motion to adjourn the meeting. Thank you, Mr. McGill. I will second that motion. Voice vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nays abstention, ayes have it. The meeting is now adjourned. Next meeting is Monday, August 2nd, 2021 at 6.30. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>